And they're off. Some of the fastest men in the world. The Boston Marathon is officially underway. By the size of the race, the sheer enthusiasm of the 36,000 racers, and the community spirit during the 2014 Boston Marathon, no one would have guessed that the year before, the event, its participants, and the city itself had been devastated by a terrorist attack. The bombings weighed heavily on the heart of filmmaker John Dunham, a marathon runner himself who had planned years before the attacks to make a documentary about the history of the race. There were a number of feelings. There was um, uh, certainly a lot of grieving um, for what had happened. Um, I walked up and down Boylston Street uh, every day uh, as soon as I arrived here in Boston in, um, in January of 2014 and, um, and just thought about it, you know, every day. His documentary, Boston, does not focus on the pain and fear in 2013. Instead, it chronicles the Boston Marathon as an event that has fostered charity, unity and strength since its inception. A big field of international stars away in a mob scene in the Boston Marathon. 26 miles of tough going ahead of Dunham's film follows the growth of the event through the decades. The race has become more selective, the runners faster. They come from all over the world to compete. Who want to run like me? One of them is Kenyan Wilson Chebet. Long time ago when I was a child, I used to run to school. 3.7 kilometers. Lunch time you come back, you go to school after lunch, and then evening you come to home. Yeah, four times in a day. <laughs> the documentary shows how the race has also grown into a major fundraising event. It started with Greek Olympic athlete Stylianos Kyriakidis, who won the Boston Marathon in 1946. And uh, used his notoriety as a, as a Boston Marathon champion to to raise uh, funds and put together supplies that aided Greece after the war. With just a few days before this year's race, Boston is getting ready. T.K. Skindarian, director of communications at the Boston Athletic Association, is in the middle of the preparations. In the year that followed in the, and in the years that have followed, the uh, sense of solidarity and community pride that has emerged from not just those injured, but people locally, people around the world, has been overwhelming. I mean, that, that sense of, of civic pride, city pride, pride in the sport of running has been enormous. Yeah, we were knocked down, but, but we got back up in a big way. Two days before the 121st running at the Boston Marathon, John Dunham's documentary is appropriately premiering in its namesake city. There's so many things that we can't control in life. Um, but getting out and running and setting a goal like running a marathon is something that, that can be done and, um, and it really does change lives and, and uh, something very, very positive. Scripture tells us to run with endurance the race that is set before us. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Boston.